Hey guys, it's Neat One Up here, and welcome back to. Stop doing that. Welcome back to um, Roblox Lua for Idiots. Today we're going to be um, just learning a bit of math. Well, not really learning a bit of math, but we're just going to just do a bit of um, arithmetic. So, yeah. Um, let's just. Let's just clear this whole thing. So, in order to add numbers, add, you do 1 plus 1. In order to subtract, you do 1 minus 1. In order to multiply, you do 1 and then an asterisk and 1. In order to divide you do one divided by one so now let's print all this print uh, add subtract multiply divide will it even allow me to do this so it should print two zero one one I think so anyway Yeah, two zero one one. So uh, yeah, um, I wonder what will happen if I print zero. Will it give me an error? Because divided by zero, if you divide by zero on a calculator, it'll give you an error. <laughs> infinity. Yeah. Actually, one divided by zero actually is infinity, but um, yeah. Okay, I didn't actually know what we'll do there. Um, in order to, like, like, add numbers, like, um, let's say we wanted to make, um, game dot workspace dot part, not parent, dot position, actually, no, dot size equals vector three dot new and then um we're just gonna make it um make the size a lot bigger so let's make each of these 10 so maybe not make them 10 just like increase them to 10 maybe i don't know like Actually, no, we should, yeah, we, uh, let's use that function that we learned back in our function video, and if you haven't checked that out, I'd highly, highly recommend that you do. Function, make our, oops, make our part bigger. And then, um, game the workspace dot part dot wait what wait <laughs> um size sorry equals a uh, vector three dot new and we're just gonna increase each um each dimension by one like 10 times i guess yeah 10 times so wait game dot workspace dot part dot size dot x plus one game dot workspace dot part dot size dot y plus one game oh game dot workspace dot part dot size dot z plus one all right then just loop the function uh ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and run run the script yo okay we're gonna add in add a weight in between each of these 
Wait one second. Wait a 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 second. Literally wait a second. 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 There we go. Now run. Yep. It's getting bigger every second. For 10 seconds. So, uh, yeah. Um, don't worry. We're going to learn something next episode that will make this a lot easier and not just looping all the way through. Because this is really tedious. Um, another thing... Another cool thing you can do with these arithmetic signs is this... What? I didn't mean to do that. Is this sign plus equals and also plus minus or... Wait, no, it's this way. Yeah. Like that. Wait, not that. Can't put a plus and a minus in the same row. So let's do a local number one equals one. And then we do number one plus equals one. And then print number one. It should say two. Wait. What? Hold up. Stop. It was running this whole time. Okay, there we go. Now, run. It should print two, right? Yeah, two. So, plus equals is just adding um, whatever this is to this, which is supposed to be a number value. And it is a number value. And... Minus equals just do, does the same thing, except you subtract one, so it should print zero. Yep, zero. Let's make an if statement, like if number one is greater than or equal to one, then script.parent.part dot trans what no script dot parent dot transparency you don't have to say part twice equals one so yeah if number one is uh greater than or equal to one and it is equal to one so it's going to be completely transparent see did it crash i think it crashed hold up Bro, why does my cursor look like this? This is so... It's kind of weird and kind of... Kind of cool, actually. Like, I feel like it's crashed, but it's not. Oh, well. Let's just disregard that. Unless it actually crashes. If number one is less than or equal to one, then, uh, yeah. It's going to be transparent. Yep, see, it's completely transparent. And also, we saw this before. If number one does not equal one, then do that. It's not going to do anything. So let's make it do something. So else uh, script.parent.transparency equals one half. See? So yeah, that's just basic like arithmetic stuff in Lua. So yeah, that concludes this episode. So with that, thanks for watching. From upward, it looks like it's like on the ground. Actually, no, no it kind of doesn't. Sometimes it does. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you didn't like this video, please leave a dislike. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please consider subscribing, and I shall see y'all in the next one. Till then, peace.